Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore more of the swamp. I have a couple of the shrines marked on the map. One here. There's probably something significant here in this like little patch of forest, I would bet. So let's put a mark there. Yeah, let's go for the forest first. Mark three. Is that a site of grace? It is. There has to be something significant if there's a site of grace. What's it called? Eastern Liernia Lake Shore. Oh, it looks like I can actually just... Like, like there's a break here that I can go through and use to get kind of up to this finger of land. Which I still don't want to explore yet. We're staying in the bottom and we'll work our way up. I love these outcroppings. They're fun to climb. And they're pretty. Oh no. Oh, it's too steep. Another cluster of crystals, like a large cluster. It's like a dream. of going past the shrine over here. <gasps> A teleporter! Where are you going to take me? directly to another map shard. Why, thank you. Laernia West. Hmm, well this whole area here doesn't look like there's anything at all on the map. Can you even walk there? Oh, it's just, yeah, it's just jagged rocks. You can't even get down there. So the map shard doesn't show much. Oh, well, that is the map shard for this higher area that we weren't able to get to before. So that's nice. There's that, and then... This castle, maybe? Could be a castle. It's pretty extensive. Oh, this is out of grace here.
I see more balloons down there. Yeah, around like here. Well, I'm gonna teleport back here. Let's check out these rocks here, and then there's a cave up here. It's a whole bunch of them. No item ahead. Thank you. I saw an angry jelly over here. One of them is red. Yeah, why is that one so angry? Friend ahead. The jelly? Yeah, they're waving at the jelly. They are a friend. Dog oh dog, except likely traitor. Arteria leaves. Oh no, no, <gasps> no. Now they're all angry. Ah! Hold on, hold on. Stop it. Lover, angel, okay. Nothing important. Let's go clean its feet. Oh, and this one is also surrounded by those, like, spirit headless defenders. So that is a thing that's particular to these. Oh. Uh. Okay. They teleport. To something. Um, I assume you're just leading me to the cave. Right? Let's just double check. Yeah, it's taking a left here. Yeah, it's just leading me to the cave. Probably a side of grace in here, so I, I want it. A couple places to jump down from. 
And a side of grace, yes. Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. I'm so excited about the whole Rhea Lucaria thing because it's all about sorcery and magic, you know? Things for me. Hidden path ahead. Mm hmm. No night ahead. No night ahead? What does that mean? Magical drilling. Oh my god. Oh, this is so deep. Be wary of edge. Danger. <laughs> Thank you. Who needs a guardrail when you have guard messages? Oh god. It's just littered with bloodstains. The pathway to get over there. Christ. I don't get what would be so dangerous about going over there, though. I don't know, let's do it. Something ahead. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, oh, I see. I see what's so hard about it. <laughs> They're very small platforms. Let's try that again. Somber smithing stone. Whew. I think this needs a well done message. Because <laughs> that is actually terrifying. Joy! goes all my joy. I think you have to sprint to make that jump. Okay, if I want my souls, I have to do all the jumps again. Didn't mean to drink that, meant to turn on my lantern. <laughs> I can do this three times in a row, why not? I 
At least my souls were there this time. Christ. Actually, can I just teleport? No, I can't teleport. Here's what I'm going to do. Curve swords, talisman. Let's replace that with the sacrificial twig. If I die, I'll keep my souls. Well, I was still in the menu when I walked forwards, so the jump didn't go off. Twig sacrificed. It's fine. Let's put another point into int. Get rid of these souls. I want to be free from the burden of these souls. Okay. Continuing on. Two pathways to go? Yes. Ah, oh, this one's a dead end. There's an item down there. Yeah, let's go. Somber smithing stone. I have a lot of those now. Wait, where do I go now? I... Guess I might be able to survive that fall with cotton. Is that really what you're supposed to do? I guess. Okay. just have no idea where I am. I want to find where it links back to... Ah, to this. Okay, so this is the bottom of this.
Put that stone away, mister. Damn it. Fuck. Don't do it. Don't do it. Dashing through ahead. Ah. I wasn't expecting one of these down here. mechanical things, but it has those, like, glintstone crystals in its hands. Yeah, it was, like, rubbing them. It didn't use them. Like, it, as soon as I attacked it, it took out its swords, but it was just... Yeah, there. That one's doing it, too. They're, like, fascinated by them. So interesting. Crystal knife. Takes, well, it scales with strength, dex, and int, and requires a bit of int as well. Very low requirement, but still. Does physical and magic damage. Knife made by sharpening hard crystal. Signature weapon of glintstone miners. Used as tool to extract glintstone from broken rock, and as such, a faint magic enwreaths the blade. Oh, it's so tiny. Marionette soldier armor. Oh, that would look so interesting on me. Let's look at the stats first. Heavier, much better physical, worse elemental. Yeah, pretty much what you'd expect. Not really better or worse, just different. Armor of metal bands arranged in a lattice. Worn by marionette soldiers, that's what they are. Crafted to serve the sorcerers. The construction of this armor is remarkably crude, now rusted over and severely dented. For a doll, the only thing that matters is that it does not break. Yeah, that is definitely not fashion. That is hideous. So the sorcerers of Rhea Lucaria, they're the ones who made the balloons and the marionette soldiers.
Ooh. Oh, I have no healing. Let's do magic. A lot more safe. Get back here. Oh, so many smithing stones. Behold message. I've beheld it. spell shatter earth There's a boss, and I have like 30% health and no healing. <laughs> um, I don't know about this one. I have plenty of magic if I just don't get hit. Yeah, I remembered back here there was a lift I didn't use. Shortcut ahead, dashing through ahead. All right, made it back to the fog wall with most of my health and potions intact. Let's see what we got. Oh, that does nothing. I'm scared of it. <laughs> okay, that's better. It makes sense that it seems like it's basically made of glinstone, that glinstone would not be effective against it. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't bad. <laughs> oh, smithing stone miner's bell bearing. That means we can buy new stuff at the store. At the finger reader or like finger maiden husk store. Yeah, it's a grim universe. Oh, your divinity have mercy and grant me forgiveness. The road is yet long, but God is not easily failed but one day without fail you will have your wish so please grant me forgiveness Queen America huh. you is it I didn't notice you there I'll be doing my job same as ever just lay out your arms oh yes we have tons of smithing stones Let's do the flail and the staff. Oh, and now we're on to a new tier so we can do them again. Heck yeah. Plus eight now. Let's offer a bell bearing to the twin maiden husks. Wait, bell bearing shop two patches bell bearing. But no, I just gave you a different bell bearing. How do I access the bell bearing shop that I of, of the one I just gave them? Well, anyway, I guess I'll buy a stone sword key. 
Let's check out that new spell that we have. Can I use it? Yes, I can. Thrust a staff into ground to emit a shockwave. Takes... Oh, only takes 15 int. That's a pretty low level spell. Uses 12 FP. Which is only slightly more than the Glintstone Arc. I have a feeling this is not going to be one that I'm going to use, but let's try it out. much damage that does. I'm not going to test it out on a little crab, though. That'd be horrible. Let's try it out on a big crab. Oh, this is a poison swamp. Eh, whatever. Okay, that actually did an appreciable amount of damage. I think it did like um, 60 or something on the first hit or whatever, but then on the actual like main shockwave, I think it did 250 or something. It's pretty good. I was heading over to this other uh, statue thing, and I just went through here, and I thought I was just going to be running and just cut it all out, but I actually encountered something interesting. Let me show you. Let me actually take this slow. You can see it's hovering in the air right there. It's basically the thing I just fought, but I assume a weaker form of it. And there's two of them. The other one just woke up. Let's kill this one real fast. Cool. Just exploded. Anything here other than them? Lots of fireflies. Oh, item. go into the poison to get it. Nah, let's save that for some other time. Oh, hold on. What is this building? Ah, no, that's not in the swamp. It's not in the swamp. Save that for later. I want to shoot this down to get some smithing stones. Oh, right, you get golden runes, not smithing stones.
Offer gesture, and then time for precious item. Wait, really? Um... Okay. Does it matter which one? Bow? Is a bow okay? Not acceptable. Hold on, do we have... Oh, prayer. That's gotta be it, right? What did they do? Yeah, they're doing a prayer. They might be messing with me, but... It might just take longer? Maybe you have to pray for a while. Nah, I think they're just messing with me. Let's head over to this cluster. And then after that, we're gonna go to the meeting place that might give us a clue as to where the key is to Rhea Lucaria. Armament ahead. Ice Rind Hatchet. That sounds cool. Strength and Dex. A little bit more Dex. 11 Strength, 16 Dex. A hatchet with a frost coated blade, one of several gifts given by Castle Soul in the distant north. Known as Freezing Fog, the blade is thought to be a dragon's scale. Inflicts a powerful frost effect. That looks so cool. Causes... Oh, no. That was my other one. Causes frost buildup at 65. What does freezing do? If I do it on an enemy, does it cause extra damage? Does it just make them freeze and just give you free hits? I don't know, but I want to try it. God, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and that's the special. Two hundred and seventy nine damage is pretty good, and I assume it also causes frost. Well, I don't know. They never seem to freeze during any of that. Can I freeze flowers? I mean, hurt them, of course. Um, how much does a normal hit do? Seventy three. Oh, there's the frost. Armament ahead. Another one? Whoa. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Too many acrobatics for me. Let's try not to rush in this time, maybe.
Ah, some come out of the water. Rhymed crystal bud. That's a crafting item, right? Like, I think we've had one before, although it showed up as new. Yeah, there it is. Widely found in cold regions. That's not that special. Oh, look at them. They look so happy. I feel like... Oh, I can't look at the map, but I feel like there must be more to this region than just the armament? In this little encounter? I suppose the armament is pretty significant, though. <laughs> Don't give up, dog! <laughs> Yes. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, a new armament is really significant. I think that is it. Whoa. What are these? Oh, those are the dung beetles, right? Never seen them fly before. They're carrying the balls in the air. And this is the island where the meeting place is supposed to take place. It just gives me FP back. There's so many of them. Whoa. That's a dragon. I'm guessing the key is on that body behind it. Can I read this message before it wakes up? E Try rot. Hmm. Do I have rot? I don't. I don't have any rot and I can't make any rot. Hmm. I guess I'll just try fire. I mean, it's a dragon. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Glintstone dragon. Okay, so I'm guessing glintstone magic doesn't do much. No, that's not much. Forty nine damage if I hit them in the head. Let's go for the legs.
Wow, that almost killed me in one hit. Oh, how am I alive? Come back here. Ah, whisking's not very effective, it's just, it's too slow to get it going. Oh, hey, there's a side of grace here. Oh! This dragon's pretty strong, huh? Got my souls back and got the sight of grace. I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to experiment a bit more with the dragon and see if there's any reasonable way I can take it on or if I should wait.